Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the best 6-5 guard build, man. This 6-5 guard build can finish. It can pass the ball super fast. It can shoot. It can dribble. And more, man. Shout out to my boy, Cully, man. Make sure you guys follow my boy, Cully, on TikTok. I will put his TikTok in the description down below. Make sure you guys hit him with a follow. He makes very good content on TikTok. So make sure you guys go check it out. But before we get into the best 6-5 guard build, can we get 100 likes on this video? 100 likes would be insane. Also, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 5.4K, man. If we can hit 5.4K before next week, that will be absolutely insane. Also, leave a comment down below if you guys need any help or have any questions. And I'll try my best to respond. Now, let's get into the build, man. Alright, so once you're in the My Player Builder, what you guys want to do, you guys want to click create your own build. Pick the best hand you shoot with. I'm going to go with left because that's the best hand I shoot with. But go with the best hand you shoot with. Jersey number, I'm going to go with 13. You guys can pick your favorite number. Once you guys are done with that, you guys can continue. All right, the position you guys want to make this build, you guys want to keep this build at point guard. You guys want to make the height 6'5". We will be 6'5 on this build. A lot of people don't have 6'5 builds, man. I remember back in 2K20, 19, 18, I used to see a lot of 6'5s. I used to have a 6'5". I low-key miss this height being meta, man. 6.5 was tough. Weight, what you guys want to do? You guys want to go in 194. 194 is the weight for this build. Next is wingspan. Wingspan, you guys want to keep it at 6.10. We want to keep a neutral wingspan because we do not have to put it down for any reason. And once you guys are done, you guys want to continue. All right, so upgrading this build. Make sure you guys upgrade this build exactly how I show because just one stat, one stat can get you a completely different build and build name. And I wouldn't want that to happen to you guys. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade as I show. All right, so first we're going to start off with our driving layup. Our driving layup, we're going to have an 85. And the reason we're going with an 85 driving layup is so we can get the OP D-Book floater layup, man. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing lately, but a lot of people have been going crazy with the floaters. Floaters are getting abused now more than ever, man. i never seen so much floaters till 2K24, you know what I'm saying? So that's why Cully went with 85 on a driving layup. So you guys can get D-Book, which is Devin Booker. And we also get good badges as well. We get Giant Slayer Hall of Fame, which is very good. We get Slithery on Silver. We get Acrobat Gold. We get Bunny on Gold. We get Float Game on Gold, which is very important because we want that floater. We want to make our floaters all the time. So it's very good that we have Float Game on Gold. Pro Judge Hall of Fame, which is good because it helps us time our layups. Scooper on Hall of Fame. Scooper is OP. And we get Whistle on Silver. So we should have no problem finishing on this build with our 85 driving layup. Trust me when I say, man, these floaters are OP. A lot of people are doing it. And you guys want to do it too, man. You guys want to kill these defenders with the floaters. And that's all we want to do for finishing. And I know you guys might be thinking like, wait, 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 no driving dunk, no standing dunk. With that D-book floater, man, you guys are going to be good, man. You don't need a dunk. A lot of people have driving dunk and standing dunk, but guess what they do? They just do floaters all day. You don't need the driving dunk and the standing dunk if you have an OP floater. And it's not like we're only going to be able to finish. We will be able to shoot. So that's the next time we want to upgrade. We want to go to our three-pointer. And we want to make our three-pointer a 92. And with a 92 three-pointer, we can spark down on this build. I have a 92 three-pointer on my 6'6". Six six. And man, I shoot lights out. I cannot lie. The only time I'd be missing is when I'm trolling and going for some crazy shots. But even the crazy shots I go for, they go in. You can really spark down with a 92.3. You don't need anything higher than this, especially on a 6.5 plus build. You don't need higher than a 92 three pointer because you get everything you need with a 92 three pointer. You get Kyle Corver base if you want to use that. You guys get Terrence Mann if you guys want to use that. You guys can use Tracy McGrady. There's so much bases you guys can use. You guys can even use Kobe Bryant base. You get everything with a 92 three pointer. You don't need anything higher than this. And not only that, we do get good badges too. We get Agent Threes on silver, which is very good. Blinders on gold, Dead Eye Gold, Limitless Range Silver, Catch and Shoot on Gold, Green Machine Gold, which is very important. Guard up on gold. I feel like this is important as well. Space Creator Gold. We get Claymore on Hall of Fame if you ever want to spot up. Come back hit Hall of Fame. Corner Specialist on Gold and open looks on gold man we get all the good and essential badges man and we also want to upgrade our mid-range we want to go with an 84 mid-range the reason Cully went with an 84 mid-range is so we could get midi magician on gold just like the floaters fading the ball at the mid-range is op it's like 2k19 all over again if you guys remember 2k19 you guys would have a glass skin or set in screens and you have the shot creator going for fades in the midi 
and it was unguardable. But this year, to be honest, you don't need that glass cleaner in the picture, man. If you guys do want to have a glass cleaner saying your screens, even better. But now, the way 6.6 are moving and 6.5 builds are moving, you don't even need a screen, man. You can just abuse the MIDI by yourself, you feel me? I don't know which fade is the OP fade. I might have to ask Cully for it, and I might put it in the comments down below. But there's an OP fade that everybody uses, and people be going crazy. I was just watching a TikTok live not too long ago, and this guy was fading the ball in the mid-range, and he was just greening all of it. The person couldn't stand a chance. If I find out what that fade is, I will put it down in the comments below. It's a super OP, and I want you guys to have it. But that super OP fade with gold midi magician, you guys can go crazy, man. Next is free throw. Free throw, you guys want to make it 80. My boy Cully does play Pro-Am. I think he plays Rex sometimes too. Maybe not too much, but he really plays Pro-Am. So he's definitely going to go with that free throw. If you guys do not play Pro-Am, you guys can take this out and go back to 67. But if you guys do play Rex and play Pro-Am, go with an 80. And that's all we want to do for shooting. We can fade the midis. We can shoot threes. And we can take our free throws. Next is playmaking, pass accuracy. And we will have a high pass accuracy. I know I haven't made a build with a high pass accuracy in a long time. But I got you guys, man. My boy Cully went with a 91 pass accuracy on this build. Man, if a 70 is fast, if a 75 is fast, a 85 is fast, imagine a 91 pass accuracy. You guys can make all the plays you guys want to on rec 5v5, even threes, maybe even twos. And it will go well, man, because a 91 pass accuracy is a super fast pass accuracy, man. If you are someone that likes passing the ball, you like making plays, you like calling out the shots, you are the playmaker of the team, this build is for you, man. You guys got a 91 pass accuracy, and that's super fast. And not only that, we get bailout on silver. Bailout is cheesy, man. If you guys remember Ticino for 2K20, you guys can be like Ticino from 2K20, just passing out all the time. And those pass outs, guess what? Your teammates open majority of the time. We also get dime around gold, which is very good. That helps our teammates green. If you're passing the ball and you have gold dimer and your teammate is not greening shots, I don't know what to tell your teammate. He needs a new jump shot because gold dimer, come on, man. Your teammate should be sparking all the time. Needle threader on gold, which is very good. Those lockdowns that are swiping those lanes, guess what? You guys got needle threader. It'll probably go through them. We get relay pass around gold. We get special delivery on Hall of Fame. If you guys want to throw lobs to your center, find some rep maybe. You guys got special delivery Hall of Fame. We also get touch passer on gold, which helps your teammates pass faster. So that's even better. And we get break starter on gold, man. If you guys are back court, your teammates cutting down for a dunk and you're at the back court, you guys can pass the ball to him very, very quickly, man. So we want to have a 91 pass accuracy on this build. Next is ball handle. You guys want to go with a 92. We want to go with a 92 ball handle so we can get all the dribble moves that we need and want. We will get a lot of these playmaking badges that you guys don't see once we upgrade our physicals. But with a 92 ball handle, we'll be dribbling very well. We'll be able to get all the dribble moves that we want. We're gonna be able to combo up. We're gonna be fast on this 6-5 build, man. So you guys don't have to worry about that. So we get killer combos on silver. If you guys do want gold killer combos, you guys gotta put it at a 93, which is one stat. You guys gotta put something down though which is kind of dangerous because if you put one stat down, you might lose something that is very important. So I would just recommend going with this 92 ball handle, but if you guys want to just mess around with this build and change something, you guys can definitely do that. Of course, it is your build. You get unplugged the ball on gold, which is very good. You don't want to get ripped. Ankle breaker gold. Ankle breaker works this year, man. Ankle breaker works this year, especially if you have badge, you're cracking ankles, man. So we want to go with a 92 ball handle. The rest of the badges we will get once we upgrade our physicals, which we will do at the end next what we want to upgrade is our speed with ball we want to make that an 89 the reason Cully went with an 89 speed with ball on this build is so you guys can get michael jordan dribble style you guys can get michael jordan dribble style if you guys are started three if you guys are not started three you guys can put this down but speed with ball is also important if you play stage i see yon man gaming having a lot of builds with speed with ball because when you're playing stage and like comp people those first two to three steps are super important in the stage that's really what separates guards man like on park you know you could get away with a 75 speed with ball 80 speed with ball but when you get step into that stage or you step into that comp pro -am, that speed with ball will start to matter you know what i'm saying so cully went with an 89 speed with ball for michael jordan dribble style if you guys are started three yes can get that which is very good but if you guys are not started three yes can still go with an 89 speed with ball again in that stage 
that comp pro am that 89 speed football will matter man that 89 speed football will matter and we did get blow by our own bronze i'm pretty sure we will get higher once we upgrade our physicals speed booster we will get it higher once we upgrade our physicals get hyperdrive on gold if you guys know what hyperdrive does leave a comment down below let me know what it does because i really i don't know what hyperdrive does to be honest and we get triple strike on silver for those who go for triple threats i don't i don't do that but maybe you guys do maybe you guys know someone that does so it could be op i'm not sure now i'm just trolling but we do get triple strike on silver i cannot lie this build is tough man for a six five build six five builds are usually limited but my boy cully did his thing man he made sure that this six five build was tough and i cannot lie it is tough and that's all we want to do for playmaking now we want to get into defense and the defensive stats you guys are going to see these are good defensive stats in my opinion these are very good defensive stats because this allows your player to play good defense if you're a good defender you're gonna get a stop with these defensive stats like if i play 1v1 core with this build i know i'm gonna get a stop man it's not gonna be hard to get a stop with this build you get what you need you just get the essentials you get what you need with these defensive stats it's not super op but it's not super terrible either you know what i'm saying it's good it's good defensive stats i really like how he spread the defense on this build because you can get a stop if you play 1v1 court you're getting a stop twos you're getting a stop threes you're getting a stop fives you're getting a stop you feel me if you're a good defender you can get a stop and i know i could get a stop with this build so if you guys are a good defender or even a decent defender you're gonna get a stop with these defensive stats here interior defense you guys want to go with a 65 if you put our hands up they're gonna miss you know what i'm saying if we play great defense and someone forces a layup and it's contested they're gonna miss we're 65 with a 610 wingspan they're not making that on us but if you guys are trailing behind people and they're going for layups of course they're gonna make their layups but if you're in front of them and they get a contested layup they're missing man 65 interior defense is what you want to go with perimeter defense you guys want to make that a 75 75 perimeter is pretty good man you're gonna get bumps you get challengers so you're gonna get contests your contests are gonna mean something you have a 6 to 10 wingspan too so that will help your contest as well this will just help us clamp up get bumpy on defense so 75 perimeter is pretty good i like how Kelly put 75 perimeter next is block you guys want to go to 68 block man you guys have a block on this build i wish my 66 build had a block the amount of times i could have got stops on my 66 if i had a block i'm telling you guys you guys want to go with a 68 block it means something it will help trust me man as a 66 with only interior defense i have only interior defense on my 66 and i get stops on the paint all the time you know what i'm saying i make sure i stay in front of them i can test their layups i can test their dunks they miss you feel me unless they have a, like a 99 driving dunk 94 driving dunk they're yamming it on me that's when i wish i had a block trust me when i say 68 block is very good it's definitely worth it do not take it out keep it on this build and that's all you want to do for defense and i'm telling you guys these are good defensive stats if you ask any comp 66 guard in the stage they're going to tell you these are good defensive stats if you ask a comp fives player if these are good defensive stats they will tell you yes these are good defensive stats when you're running point guard these are great defensive stats and i'll tell you as a person that plays one v one court these are good defensive stats so once you guys are done with defense, you guys want to go into physical speed. You guys want to go with an 86 speed. You want to get that goal speed booster, man. You got to be fast on this build. You got to be dribbling fast, man. We're not going to be slow on this 6.5 guard build, man. Go with an 86 speed so we can have that goal speed booster. Not only that, it will help us with defense as well. Because if you guys don't know, speed is how fast you are without the ball in your hand. And when we play defense, we want to be able to keep up with the person that we're guarding. So we're going to need a speed. So speed helps with two purposes, gold speed booster, which is dribbling and defense. This will help us keep up with those who we are guarding. Acceleration, you guys wanna go to 83 Excel so we can get these badges, man. As you guys can see, we got blow by on gold, we got speed booster gold, we got fast speed on bronze, which is very good. Spot finder on gold, triple strike gold, and slippery off ball on silver. You guys wanna have decks, you guys can go crazy with that slippery off ball on silver. And I'm not gonna lie, that spot finder is crazy too. I cannot lie. People really go crazy with spot finder. Like they be going in the paint and they dex back out. Like I don't know how they do it. Well, I do know how they do it. I just do it. Cause I, you know, I watch them do it and I do the same thing. But man, that's OP. When you run into the paint and you make your player back up all the way to the three-point line off the inbound, tch, the amount of times I lost to it and the amount of times I've done it, it's crazy, man. Strength, you guys want to go to 60. We want to be able to get bumpy on this build, man. We can't be soft on this 6'5 build. We want to be bumpy. We want those clamps. 
He also did physical handles, which is very important for my dribblers. You guys want to have physical handles. I'm glad Cully went with strength on his build. His physical handles is important. But of course, we get clamps as well, which is also important. And we get finish finisher for our finishing as well. Vertical, you guys want to make that a 60. So we can get that chase down artist on bronze. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm telling you guys. This block will help you, man. Don't think it's useless. It's not useless. It's very good. Very, very good. 68 block is amazing for this build. And last but not least, we want to put our stamina to 99, man. We get handle for these on gold, man. And we are 99 overall on the best 6-5 guard build, man. My boy Cully snapped on this build. Shout out to my boy Cully. It's super dope. It gets a bunch of good badges. And like a lot of 6-5s, you don't really see 6-5s out there, man. You guys want to be unique. You guys want to be different. If you guys love having 6-5 as your height, man, go with the 6-5 build, man. The 6-5 build is tough. Shout out to my boy Cully. Make sure you guys go follow him on TikTok, man. His link is in the description down below. And we are playing making three level threat, man. And this build is tough, man. If you guys do like this build, leave a like down below. If you guys are going to make this build, leave a comment down below. I'm going to make this build. If you guys are going to make this build but change a couple things, let me know what you guys change down below. I'm really interested to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a blessed day. Peace.